Hello everyone, I'm Olga Vaskan and welcome to our virtual English class. So, let's start. First look at the screen and try to name the activities you see. So the first one is walk a dog, very good. What's this? Play football, bravo. What's this? Water the plants or water the flowers. Read a book, wash hands and skate. Very good. You know all the activities. Good. Now I have a question. Do you wash your hands every day? And this time I want to ask you to give short answers to this question. Do you remember the rule? How we answer shortly to these questions? Well, bravo! Some of you said, yes, I do. Some of you know, I don't. Bravo! So this is the rule and this is the structure and the short answer we usually give to such kind of questions that start with do. So do you wash your hands every day? Yes, I do. No, I don't. My next question to you is, did you wash your hands yesterday? And try to answer shortly to this question. Oh, mm -hmm. you don't know the answer. I will help you. So to these questions that start with did, we usually answer yes, I did, no, I didn't. So actually, this is what we are going to learn today in the lesson. We will learn some rules referring to past simple tense. And actually, we will go through all of the three forms. Affirmative or positive form, negative or negations, and interrogative questions. So if you are ready, then take your pens, copy books and make notes. So, but before we continue, let us remember some words such as yesterday, which means year, last week, last month, last year, yes? All these words refer to the past, to something that has already happened. Okay, so the first rule we have to remember is, and about the affirmative or positive sentences, is that we simply add ed ending to the verb, yes? So if we refer to some activities that happened last week or yesterday or last month. So, let's read the sentence. I washed the car last week. That's very easy. So, but to um, understand the rule better, let us take some practice. So, let us use the words in brackets in past simple affirmative form or positive. So, let's start. I, the carpet yesterday. If we have yesterday in the sentence, do you remember what we do with the verb? Yes, we add ed ending. I hovered the carpet yesterday. Let's go on. Grandma, bravo, cooked a tasty lunch yesterday. Let's go on. Alex and Sofia played tennis last Saturday. Bravo. Dan, planted a tree in autumn. Angela, what did she do? Watered the flowers yesterday. Good job. Tina, of course, helped her mother yesterday. So, this is the rule you have to remember about affirmative sentences. In the past simple, we simply add ed ending to the verb. Okay, let's continue with the next rule about negative form or negations. Look, let us read the affirmative sentence we have here. I washed the car yesterday. Yes, this sentence is in the past because it has ed ending. But I want to turn this sentence into a negative one. So be very attentive what I do. I use didn't and the verb. I don't use ed at the end of the verb. So look, I washed the car, but when I turn the sentence, the affirmative sentence into the negative one, I use didn't. I didn't wash the car. So look, 
In the affirmative sentences, ED shows us that the sentence is in the past, but in negative sentences, didn't shows us that the sentence is in the past. So that's very easy. We use didn't plus the verb. So let's practice a little bit and disagree with the following sentences following the structure didn't plus verb. Let's move on. It snowed yesterday. Hmm. Make the sentence negative. You're right. It didn't snow yesterday. It rained last week. Okay, disagree. It didn't rain last week. We washed the dishes. Hmm. We didn't wash the dishes. They walked in the park. Hmm. Can you make it negative? Yes, they didn't walk in the park. Very good. And watered the flowers. What's the negative form of this sentence? And you're right again. And didn't water the flowers. Dan painted the house. Dan didn't paint the house. Very good. So again, remember this rule. If we want to make a negative sentence in the past simple, then we simply use didn't and the verb. And the last rule we are going to learn today refers to interrogative form or questions in the simple past. So, let us look at this sentence again. I washed the car. So, we know that if we add ed ending to the verb, we refer to past actions. But what happens if I want to turn this sentence into a question? So, that's very easy. We write did and again we use the verb without ed ending because did already shows us that the action is in the past. So, look. I washed the car. And if I want to ask a question, I simply use did. Did you wash the car? So, that's very easy. We start the questions with did and we don't use ed ending. So, to understand uh, the rule better, let us take some practice. Let's make up questions. Dan washed the car. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the word we use when we want to make up questions in past simple? Okay, you are right. Did Dan wash the car? Bravo! We played football last week. Make it. Turn it into a question. Okay, did we play football last week? Mm -hmm. The next sentence. You helped your friend. Okay, did you help your friend? Very good. They talked to the queen. Mm -hmm. Did they talk to the queen? Bravo! Peter watered the carrots. Mm -hmm. Did Peter water the carrots? Very good. Father painted the walls. What's the question? Did father paint the walls? Very good. So, the only thing you have to remember is, again, we use did and the verb without ed ending. Well, so, to see how all these rules work in a content, let us read a very short text. And after that, you will have to answer some questions. That's why be very attentive. Okay, let's read the text together. Father and I washed the car. It was fun. Mother and Tina washed our dog. The dog didn't like it. In the evening, we played tennis. So, look, we have affirmative forms of the verbs in past simple washed, washed and played. And there is also a negative form didn't like. Okay, and now, as I have promised, let us answer the following questions, giving short answers. Yes, he did or no, he didn't or yes, she did, no, she didn't. Are you ready? Let's start. Did Dan help his father? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? 
Yes, he did. Did he like it? Yes, he did. Did Dan wash his dog? Mm -hmm. Think about it. No, he didn't. Did the dog like it? No, it didn't. Did they play tennis in the morning? So, do you remember? Did the family play tennis in the morning? No, they didn't. They played in the evening. Very good. So, let us wrap up what we have discussed during this lesson. So, we talked about affirmative forms of the verbs in past simple and the rule you have to remember is that we add ed at the end of the verb. If we want to turn the affirmative sentences into negative ones, then we follow the structure didn't plus the verb. And the interrogative sentences, we form them with the help of did plus verb. So to memorize all the things and all the rules that we have discussed during this lesson, you can rewatch this video anytime. So thank you for your attention. That is all for today. See you soon.